This one made me laugh when I got the listening clip from my friend. So let's take a listen now to this native speaker. We will review everything that was said and we will check our comprehension. That is why we are here. Let me ask you, which of these can you hear in the listening section? It's going to start now. Do not look at those subtitles. Dude, you're overthinking it. You said the day went well, there was great chemistry. So just hit her up and ask her to meet up again. You're not going to impress anyone by ignoring them. It's not high school. Obviously, keep the message brief. Don't pour out your heart like, oh, oh my goodness, I've never met anyone like you before. I love you. No, there's a limit. But at the same time, just be honest. I tell her straight, hey, the other night was fun. And I'd invite her out again to make my intentions clear. That's just me, though. All I'm saying is don't ghost her or anything stupid. Okay, he said, that's just me, though. Let's take a look at that and everything else in the review section. But first, these are the questions we will ask at the end. Pause now if you want to take a quick look first. Okay, he said, dude, you're overthinking it. You said the date went well. There was great chemistry. Chemistry is like a, a nice feeling, a nice connection between two people. So just hit her up and ask her to meet up again. Hitting someone up means to contact them, to call them, message them along those lines. You're not going to impress anyone by ignoring them. It's not high school. So maybe when teenagers or young adults are dating, they might do things differently by trying to look cool. But he's saying, obviously, keep the message brief. So he is saying, hit her up. He's saying, message her, keep it brief, keep it simple. Don't pour out your heart like, and then he goes on and makes a, a mocking impression of him. Oh my goodness, I've never met anyone like you before. I love you. He's saying, no. Okay, so don't pour out your heart or don't pour your heart out. It means to be overly emotional, sharing your feelings with no filter, just letting everything come out. I poured out my heart to her. It sounds very dramatic, but it wasn't mutual. I'm sorry, bro. We can also say to wear your heart on your sleeve. This is someone who does this kind of thing a lot. Someone who's always sharing their feelings with no filter. Ah, oh, he wears his heart on his sleeve. So he's saying, don't do that. Don't go to that extreme. There's a limit. But at the same time, just be honest. I'd tell her straight, hey, the other night was fun. So he's saying, I tell her straight. Um, to tell someone straight or straight up means to tell someone honestly and directly. I want your honest opinion, so just tell me straight up. The complete opposite of saying it honestly and directly is to sugarcoat something, to make something, to try and say something in a nicer way than what the truth is. So don't sugarcoat it is the same as saying, tell me honestly, tell me straight up. I would tell her completely directly, honestly, hey, the other night was fun. And I'd invite her out again to make my intentions clear, my intentions, what I plan to do. Then he says, that's just me though. And that's a way of saying, that's just my opinion. It doesn't mean it's true for everybody. That is what I would do. Something you might say when you're given advice. All I'm saying is, don't ghost her or anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid like that. What does ghosting someone mean? It means to completely ignore and stop communicating with someone, literally to become a ghost where that person can't see or hear you anymore. Why do I keep getting ghosted on these dating apps? Quite common slang, especially in the dating world. All right, let's check that all of that made sense. So firstly, does it seem like the date went well? Well, this person he's talking to seems to be worrying a lot, but you said the date went well, there was great chemistry, yeah, it seems like, according to the listener, that the date went well. We don't have any other reason to think that it didn't. What was the listener planning to do? So on that same page, the way the speaker's saying, you're not going to impress anyone by ignoring them, that kind of tells me the guy first, when he was overthinking it, maybe he said, what should I do? Should I, should I wait? Should I not call her? 
I don't want her to think that I'm too desperate or I care too much. And I think that was his original idea before this friend steps in and gives some advice. So yeah, maybe ignoring her, waiting a while before messaging. Okay, and the last one, not exactly a question, but if we summarize the speaker's advice, what he's trying to say, just be, and then we want two answers. Let's look at the choices. Just be serious. Hmm. That doesn't really fit. Just be direct. Yes, I think that is definitely one of the answers. He is saying, tell her straight, tell her honestly, tell her directly. Amusing, didn't say anything. I thought he was amusing, but he wasn't telling the other guy to be amusing. Committed, mm, you can commit to someone, but that kind of does feel a little bit more serious. I could understand if you would go for that answer though. Emotional, no, he said, don't be overly emotional. Don't pour your heart out. And open, yeah, if you're saying, hey, it was fun, you're being honest. Another way of saying that is to be open. So I think direct and open without being too emotional, or too serious is exactly what he was trying to get across. Now, let me tell you straight, are you done with studying for today? That was very direct. I like to be direct. But hey, if you're not done, 